Well, it finally happened. It's taken a minute. We almost got there the other day when the score dropped to, I think, 48%. I think it was 48%. And then it, it went back up after like an hour because we can't have this score get, get that low. But now it would seem that critics just don't care and they are just giving it the appropriate rating. Still only 30 reviews. I think a lot of people are scared to actually review this show. Sin Inc. had that problem. It still sits unreviewed, by the way. At least last time I checked, unless somebody ran in and gave it a review. It has no critic reviews. Why is that? Because they didn't wanna they didn't want to give it bad reviews. It does happen. They do play ball with Hollywood, these critics. I've, I've played that clip. Let me play it again for the time they did this little podcast at Sci-Fi Network's podcast or whatever it was and talked about how they didn't want to give Captain Marvel bad reviews because they wanted to play ball with Hollywood. Listen to this. Everybody in our industry occasionally has to play softball, occasionally has to you know, look the other way a little bit. Everybody has to do it. Wait, wait, we're turning what? Like a movie in, 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 bad, in the sense or? that, you know, I hated a movie, but I won't say that I hated the movie or a, an actor behaved a sort of way and you don't want to, you know, get it, put right. it out there that that happened. Right, because you might not get the next review. Right, next so to some okay. degree, everybody in our industry that is a part of this quote unquote access media has to sort of decide which battles they want to pick. <laughs> I still can't believe they actually said that. I mean, we all knew it. Everybody knew it. But to hear them say it was kind of kind of funny. That's why when you see this shit come out, this is why the review bombing narrative exists. Because they run damage control for these shows. But sometimes they, they just can't do it. And that's what's happening here with Velma. All of the sites are covering the backlash. This is from Digital Spy. Came out yesterday, Scooby-Doo spinoff Velma Sparks huge backlash following show's debut. And they can't believe it. This is so bad. Mindy Kaling is getting a lot of heat right now because <laughs> she's made another bad show. All her shows have been bad. The only good thing that she's done was be a part of The Office. That's why she's relevant is because of The Office. After that show ended... Her career kind of ended because, I mean, everything that she's done since then has failed. She had that big show, The Mindy Show. Failure. Huge failure. She did a couple other things. Nothing really noteworthy that anyone talks about. And now we've got this, and it's yet another failure for Mindy Kaling. But, as usual, you get stuff like this. This is from NBC News. Amid Velma pushback, Mendy Kaling is a lightning rod held to an impossible standard, some critics say. So they've been trying to defend her, saying, well, she's just held to high standards. Yeah, she should be held to high standards. She works in Hollywood. <laughs> Do you know how many people would love to work in Hollywood? Do you know how many people would line up to take her position if they could get it? And this is the biggest problem in Hollywood. Hollywood's biggest problem right now, more than anything, isn't so much the woke stuff, and that is a big part of it, and one of the reasons you keep seeing it over and over again is because the people that keep failing keep failing upwards. Do you think Mindy Kaling's done after this? No, she'll get another show or a movie. Within a year, she's going to keep getting work, even though everything that she's put out has been shit. She's going to keep getting more work, because in Hollywood, you fail upwards. Look at Batwoman. Batwoman was a garbage show. One of the worst shows I think ever created. How that show isn't, <laughs> isn't like number one on the worst rated shows of all time, I don't understand. I don't get that. Because that show is just as bad as Mindy. But do you think the people from that failure got fired? No, they, 
They gave him a whole new show. They moved everybody over to Gotham Knights. So now you've got that new CW show, Gotham Knights, coming out. I think it comes out this month. This month or next month? It's coming out soon. It's actually highly anticipated. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why do those people not know Batwoman made it or the Batwoman team made it. So you've got all of these people that just make garbage after garbage and they just get to keep working. And that's what's going on with Mindy Kaling here. This is the problem with Hollywood. Like I said, normally at a real job, if you produce turd after turd, you get fired. But in Hollywood, you just get to move up. The other thing that this article does is says that she should be defended because of her ethnicity. She should get a pass. I don't think that it should have anything to do with the quality of your content. If the quality of your content that you put out sucks, you probably shouldn't get to keep working. And they say here Hollywood itself has a problem with diversity. Are you kidding me? What? Hollywood's all about diversity now. <laughs> Everything is diverse. But they still have a problem with it? What is it? Because one white dude still works there or something? So, like, this is dumb. But they're going to keep running damage control for her. You see it in this article. The real reason HBO's Velma is considered the most hated show on TV. Radical change. Yeah, that's one of it. That's one of them. For sure. This cast looks nothing like Velma. To adult, I think that that's, that's fair too. This does not need to happen to Scooby-Doo. Criticism from both sides. This is accurate. Everybody hates this show. In fact, the, the internet's pretty damn united on how much this show sucks. Unfair standards. Here we go again. Mindy Kaling. Oh, she's South Asian woman. It's unfair. She should get a pass. How many passes does she get? She's made nothing but bad shows. Let's let's take a look at her IMDb. All right, here's here it is. Let's take a look and see. So, known for The Office, Late Night, Inside Out, Wreck It Ralph. So she did two voices. I don't. She didn't write that or anything. But Late Night, never heard of that. The Office, everyone's heard of. Actress. She was in Ocean's Eight. Champions, A Wrinkle in Time as Miss Who, Jay-Z, Family Feud with Beyonce, The Mindy Project. Got 100, wow, that show got 117 episodes. That's insane. Animals, The Muppets, as herself. <laughs> the night before. Anything as a writer, is, she, is that it? Producer, okay, writer, previous. Let's take a look. So she had a little bit of stuff here with The Office. She wrote two episodes. Two episodes. Is it showing? Yeah, my jungle. Hai. Whoa. Hot Star Specials, The Office. What is this? Is this another country's version of The Office? It has to be. Yeah, I didn't even know that. So she didn't even write The American Office. That's interesting. I wonder how many different versions of that show exist. I never thought about it. Okay, here's the actual office, which I guess would be the British version, so the American office. She wrote 26 episodes. One episode of Saturday Night Live, she did a sketch. And then Mindy and Brenda. Four weddings and a funeral, the sex lives of college girls, never have I ever. I've never. All of this shit looks like it sucks. So, you know, I, I just, I don't get it with her. She's directed stuff. The Office, The Girl Next Door. The Office, Third Floor. What are these things? The Office, Subtle Sexuality. I've never even heard of this stuff. Well, she's got Mindy now. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of junk here, but held to, a, held to impossible standards. Well, she has a lot of shit on her belt. She should be held to high standards. This is ridiculous. Anyway, another bad day for Mindy. <laughs> another bad week for Velma. I can't wait for the new episodes to drop. Let's see how low this baby can go.
Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.